This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The next match is, uh, another one of my favorites, man. The alpha male Monty Brown. I love this guy. He's going <laughs> to pick up a win over Sonny Siaki, who I was convinced to know too. This is like their rock. I was wrong on one of those accounts. I got seven minutes and five seconds. Nothing much was done to establish who was the heel or face a decent match overall, though, with the usual good intensity from Brown and more urgency than usual from Siaki star and a half. Two T and A, as you would call them, originals. This is a, a pretty good card so far. We don't spend a lot of time talking about Sonny Siaki, but such a major part of the beginning of T and A. What do you think stops Sasaki or Sonny from being a, a, a bigger star and catching on more? Time. When I really think about Siaki and Monty, they're both greener and goose. You know, I mean, just green. And I, I say that. Out of total respect, neither one of them were seasoned. You look at, you know, a lot of the talent that uh, at NXT or AEW that they just come up through the ranks, they've got quite a bit of time before, you know, these guys, and again, one day a week, they, they weren't going to their training schools or getting up in the ring. You know, they're just not seasoned. But I believe opportunity and time, were, were Sonny's uh, biggest challenges. Just the time he entered into the business as a young guy. Again, I, th this whole context is so hard for people nowadays to kind of connect because independent wrestling in 2004 or five is nothing like it is today. I mean, at all, domestically or internationally. Let's uh let's talk about what happens after the match. Glenn Gilberti and Johnny Swinger attack Siaki with a coconut and then put a straw skirt on him. Irish Pat Kenny made the save and then Trinity kicked him from behind. Desire then ran out to even the odds and whipped Trinity with a leather strap. This is a different time, boys and girls, but Glenn Gilberti, we know is Disco Inferno. You saw Johnny Swinger all over, including ECW. Uh, Irish Pat Kenny was also Simon Diamond. So a pretty loaded roster as far as names that wrestling fans were familiar with. Uh, this is uh, a pretty loaded roster. I mean, I don't know another way to say it, but here we are just three segments in, and it's a who's who kind of of who's not in the WWE, right? It's entertaining. I just kind of remember um, we had broke out uh, Swinger and, you know, Simon Diamond, Johnny Swinger, and Irish Pat was a single guy. I loved it. Um, you know, I, I don't think Pat ever, I mean, yeah, he, 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 I think he liked it somewhat, but I think he felt more comfortable in the role that he had done a while, but, um, Trinity and desire and yeah. Um, lots of entertainment going on, uh, in that segment, coconut and disco. Oh, disco's a character. He's something else on Twitter too. These days he is. Oh. Let's not talk about that. I know he's, he's just too much. It's just like Hudson's going to interview AJ styles, who said he considered himself the favorite in the King of the ring match because of his experience with ladders. Raven interrupts and asks Hudson why he's wasting his time interviewing a redneck. And then he attacks styles. We don't spend a lot of time talking about Scott Hudson, but man, I think he was uh, criminally underrated. You know, we often say a lot of times in business, especially when you're talking about success, boy, timing is everything. But what a talent he was and is. Fan, he's not underrated in my book. Because yeah. Conrad, he's he's one of those talents, super smart, his day job um, with the federal government. I'll just say that. And so he worked it where he could come up on Wednesdays. Uh, loves, loves the business, so dialed into it. Um, but in, in the... This time of TNA, we had so many young guys that, um, you know, they just weren't the best of talkers or might get a little nervous and, hey, we're doing this live. Or if you got to get, if we're going to do a pre tape and Russo's going to have it do, have them do it three, four, five times. Scott had the disposition to have patience and tolerance and work through it. He's a pro's pro. Scott is really, really good at it when he needs to do his work and his uh, interviewee work. He can do it. If he needs to lay out, he can do it. Uh, Scott's 
he's kind of one of those unsung heroes of the early days of TNA in a lot of ways. But when you go back and kind of watch the overall work, you go, oh, okay. Scott was really good. He, uh, I don't think he gets his flowers enough. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you're going to notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.